Paul Carpetbagger here along with Jen and we are currently in Everett, Washington, home of Funko. Funko. Now, when Jen came <laughs> when Jen flew out here and met me on the West Coast, the number one thing she asked that she wanted to see <laughs> is the Funko store here in Everett, Washington. This is their home base. Now, Jen, you have a couple, <laughs> couple. You have a couple Funkos at home. How many Funkos do you have? 3. Three. Okay, she's she's lying. <laughs> like what she means is she over has over a hundred. She has three rooms <laughs> completely full of Funkos. You mostly collect Star Wars. Yes. But it is expanded a little bit from there. And Beauty so, and the Beast and wrestling. Let, let me let me let, let, let's say, how many Funkos do you buy a day? A day. A day. I mean, I probably get like one a week. One a week. So that's, you know, and how long have you been collecting them? Um, quite a while. My sister got me my first one, my Han Solo one, and that was, geez, at least 10 years ago? 10 years ago, so one a week for 10 years. So, what, what, <laughs> is that 500? Am I doing math correctly? I mean, there's a lot. I tried to count, and it, it may be closer to 200. You tried to, you tried to count. So <laughs> I tried to count. So you're saying is, you made an attempt to see how many Funkos you had, and you failed. I did. But you, but you said you were really excited about, about seeing this location. Yes. What's here? What, why is it here? Funkos! <laughs> is this like where they make them? Is this where they were invented? Uh, Funkos! <laughs> All right. This is the... This is the uh, it's the HQ. Funko HQ. HQ. Okay. So the headquarters of Funkos. It looks like this whole downtown area is just basically Funkos here in Everett, Washington. So uh, we're gonna go inside. Apparently the store is really cool inside. I'd also like to add that I got Jacob invested in the Funko train. I sh I bought a few Funkos. <laughs> I got a little crazy. I went, we went to a, um, to a, a toy store. Is that called, is it a, you're just okay, home toys? Yeah. I went to a, a store that sold Funkos. <laughs> They're collectibles. In, uh, collectibles in Knoxville. They're toys. And I splurged. I bought a bunch of uh, Disney Park Funkos just because they had like they had Mr. Toad with with crazy eyes and I went a little, went a little when we overboard. met I was afraid to show him my Funkos because my friends were telling me like did you tell him about your Funkos like, like it it's was like a curse <laughs> like it was like some sort of dirty a red secret flag. like she had a basement <laughs> full bodies. of dead bodies but it was just, <laughs> just cute little Funkos. tiny bodies but anyways yeah let's check the store out please follow us you see the building there covered in Funkos. And actually, Funkos run over top the street. There's a pedestrian walkway that has a Spider-Man on this side, a Batman poking on the other side. You can see people walking across right there. I guess Spider-Man is a is a uh, Marvel a Marvel character. Batman a DC character. So both joined in Funkoness on top of the bridge. Oh, look at the Batman up there. He's got a he's got a little bird on his head. See the oversized Funkos on the outside here. We have Harry Potter. There's Catwoman over here. Groot. And I think... That's Batgirl. That's Batgirl? Yeah. What did I say? Catwoman. Oh, not Catwoman. Batgirl. They, you know, they're similar. And <laughs> then I think this is this this purple gorilla is Grape. Grape Ape, I believe. Let's see Huckleberry Hound here. In front of the building, it's the Chewbacca up there. It's Maleficent, Sully. I think that's the Incredible Hulk there, underneath the Funko sign. You see the rotating crown up there at the top. Oh, look at this! This overnight camping around the Funko building is not permitted. Fans can line up starting at 5 a.m. each day. So apparently, they actually have a problem with people showing up too early to get exclusive Funkos. Now supposedly you can actually make your own Funkos here, your own custom Funkos. We see the little Funko factory here, little Funko robot there. This is a conveyor belt making these little Funkos. This is their mascot, Freddy Funko, also driving this uh, vehicle here. And it says service animals only. I guess that includes cat dog. We head inside. Got the golden statue of Freddy Funko. Oh, you're gonna need one of these. You need <laughs> one of those. Three of, these. three of those. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This is actually pretty, uh, pretty fun in here. Here in the front of the store, we have some Stranger Things 
characters on display. You can see all the uh, Stranger Things kids there. Or if you want, you can get them in pixely, pixelated versions. In this room, what is this, what is this called, Jen, these characters? The Wetmore Forest. The Wetmore Forest. So these are actually some original characters. Funko's known for doing a lot of pop culture characters. But yeah, here we are in Wetmore Forest. Yeah, we just noticed coming in, this is Wetmore Street out here. Oh, we can actually can see through the window that we are on uh, Wetmore Avenue. We are also in Wetmore Forest, the fictional forest based on the non-fictional street. It's like unicorn there. Almost maybe like a like a Mad Hatter unicorn. And this is a this is a cute little guy here with the long ears. Which one are you looking at there? Butterhorn. Butterhorn. Are his horns made of butter? They are. They're delicious. Look at this guy. He's this big scruffy man. He's got little goblins in his beard. Oh, he's got one little tooth. This little bat creature flying up over our heads. This little pink lizard over there. And up here in the trees, you can see a little, little wolf or some sort. I don't know what kind of creature that is, but maybe a wolf coming up over the bridge. This one here, he kind of reminds me of Krampus a little bit with his horns and his beard. And then they have some sort of dog wearing a wooden mask there. Some anime characters on the sides of this archway. You can see in here we have this Tokyo cityscape. And look what we have here, this massive Godzilla Funko. You can see there's planes up there flying around his head. They have little Funko figures within them. He's smashing through the subway train. If you look closely, you can see there's a bunch of Huckleberry Hounds in the subway train that he is smashing. Over here we see the lineup from Mortal Kombat. We have Johnny Cage, I met him in real life. And we have Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Raiden. Sometimes it feels like you can literally find Funkos for anything. We have Mr. Mint from Candyland, and just the player piece from Candyland. And look at this. Some sort of strategy game. There's Quint and there's the shark. Comes at you. It's got those lifeless eyes, those dead eyes. Black. Like a doll's eyes. Oh, I do like this here. This is a this is the large size Funko. I guess these are the normal sized ones. And uh, up here is the larger size ones. They actually have Gizmo from Gremlins there with the 3D glasses. One of my favorite movies. Here's some Seinfeld Funko Pops. I don't know if this is George, but he's purple and has a triangle on his head. Um, so it seems confusing. Also, this is only available at Target. Spoiler alert, we're not at a Target. Oh look, here we have the Bat Cave. Hey Jen, are you next to uh, your favorite bat? It's Adam West. You and Adam are, are tight. Oh, you see Robin back here sliding down the, they call it the Bat Pole? Yes. The Bat Pole, okay. Sliding down the Bat Pole here and there is Girl, I accidentally called her Catwoman. I get the two confused. They both have ears. It's an easy mistake to make. There's right, Arkham Asylum, home for the criminally insane. And we have over here the Joker locked in his cell. He's written ha ha ha. ha. Oh, he made a noise. He wrote ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, all over the inside of his cell. And also we have this killer croc from the Suicide Squad locked in the other cell. Let's see all the Ninja Turtles here. This is Michelangelo with a box of donuts. Oh, and there's Nightmare Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Over here they have some Simpsons characters. These look like maybe themed after ancient Greek characters. But look at this, we have Mr. Plow. Mr. Plow, Mr. Plow. The name again is Mr. Plow. Oh, look at that. You got the Godzilla Homer there. Love the Treehouse of Horror episodes. 
of the Simpsons. Oh, are, are you Pennywise now? Pennywise. So what do you say? Oh, we all float down here. We do. <laughs> I'm Jenny Wise. Jenny, there you go. This section here is reminiscent of Fantasyland at the Disney parks. This is Wilkomen. I think that's welcome in German. And then we got the little mice from uh, Cinderella up there. Here is the Disney Park section. We've got uh, characters from a small world. Man, if you tried to collect every kid from a small world, that, that was a lot of kids. We also have Alexandra Nitrikoff, who is one of the characters in the stretch room paintings in the Haunted Mansion. Let's see what else. We got the, the people movers. The people movers here with the different uh, Disney characters and uh, some plushies. These are all the uh, icons to the park. Well, I guess Space Mountains technically isn't the icon for Magic Kingdom, but we got uh, Spaceship Earth, the Tree of Life, and the Tower of Terror. Eh, it doesn't look that terrifying here. And look at this, we have a castle here covered in Disney princesses. There's Belle from Beauty and the Beast, there's Elsa and her snowman Olaf down there at the bottom. And then Tiana from Princess and the Frog. You can walk through the castle here. Over here we see uh, Michael Jordan, who is not necessarily a Disney princess. And here's the other side of the castle that had the Disney princesses on it. Up there we have Maleficent in the balcony there. And there's Maleficent's dragon form. And down here, we even have the goons. The goons from the, uh, they were in the movie, but also it reminds me of the Hall of Goons at Disneyland inside the castle. There's Mr. Jack Skellington there. He already has a big head and a tiny body. He's a little, maybe a little longer than the average Funko though. These are Funko Popsies. They have little messages that pop out of their heads. It says, you're magical. This one's saying you're the hero. So I guess you hit them and little messages come out of their heads. There's Elsa. She says, oh, real friends are real magic. And here we head into the Star Wars section. You excited? What's this? This is the, uh, what's this? What's this thing called, Jen? A tauntaun. A tauntaun. Wait, did you really forget? I just want to see if you remember. You have to have a tauntaun. <laughs> You gonna cut its guts open and sleep in it? I will. Who's riding it? Who's Han's. riding it? Is that Han right there? My favorite. He seems pretty happy. So you know that these are dorbs and that. Oh, this is not a Funko? Well, they're made by Funko. It's a dorb? Yes, it's a dorb Because it's Because it's so adorable? Yes. That may actually be Luke. I didn't turn the corner yet. Oh, okay. That's Luke, yeah, you I think? think it's, I okay. can't tell. Can't tell? Yeah. Well, they're in their, the they're literally the comment in the comment section. <laughs> is that Luke or Han right there? It's hard to tell. Yeah. It's oh, I think this is Luke over here hanging oh, no. by his feet. Oh no! Look, it's the uh, the 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 Wampa. The wa there we go. Good job. <laughs> As he stare at you like. There All you go. Right. Right, you're gonna get mad there if I forgot. Love the wampa though. It's like a big yeti with horns. And look at his mean teeth. Do you want to see oh, Easter egg? He's gonna eat Luke. What's the Easter egg? No. Where are we? Are we going back here? It's a super spooky skeleton. Oh no! Whose skeleton is this? I don't know. Some Who guy. Who did he eat? This is what a Funko skeleton looks like. Yep. A big, big, big skull, big eye holes, but little tiny bony body. <laughs> you can see the snow troopers there, and oh, we can hear Vader breathing. Jen, 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 what's this guy's name? This is, a, this is a pop quiz. You don't know this Star Wars character? I don't know his name. Where, do you know what he's from? He's a bounty hunter. Oh, yeah, it says bounty hunter. <laughs> I honestly don't know You don't it. recognize Zuckus? <laughs> Zuckus is my favorite character. My favorite character from Star Wars is Zuckus. He commits a ruckus. <laughs> you don't? That good old Zuckus. <laughs> Where is he from? Is he just, oh, he's from Star, he just says Star Wars. I don't know. Where's Zuckus? I, I don't know. I don't know, I'm sorry. Oh, Jen failed, Jen failed. doesn't know who Zuckus is. Wah, wah. And there we have Chewbacca. Do you like Chewbacca, Jen? I do. Is he your favorite? No, he's not your favorite. He's like but my third favorite. Third favorite. So first, 
First is Han, what's second? Leia. Leia. And then, and then Chewie. But back here, this is the Pop Factory, where you can have your own Funko Pop custom made. You can see the little bits and pieces. These are all torsos here. These are all torsos. Look at all these torsos. All right, at this kiosk, you can make your own Funko. Are you gonna make a gen? I am. All right, so let's see. Am I pale or not so pale? Uh, I'd go with that, yeah, I would, that's more you. Okay, so you're saying I'm the pale. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna end up with What about this one? Can you rotate it? That's true. I do have my hair up the majority of the time. It's pretty cute. Oh, I can have pink hair. Oh, you definitely have glasses. Oh, it's starting to it's starting to look like you, Jen. <laughs> These are actually like a Funko you can put in your hand. That one's pretty cute. Oh, well, that would be cute. I want a mini Funko or a lightsaber. What? Do you like fishing? Oh, Alright, there you go. You got your lightsaber. Accessories too. Another lightsaber. Oh, is that a Funko? Oh, you're right. Alright. Oh, she have a Funko in her hand? A Funko and a lightsaber. I'm about to cry about how much. <laughs> oh wait, you can add you can add a kitty. Which one looks the most like Cammy and Scarlet? <sighs> All right, time to make my Funko. Let's get started here. All right, my body. Uh, oh, let's see. Okay, there's me. Next, I have no lashes. So there we go. Hair and hats. Do they have? Do they have hats? They only have one. They only have a baseball cap. Oh, I don't, okay. They have mutton chops? Which hair do you think looks the most like me? Is that? Is that, that one for sure. That, that is me? your That's hair. me? Okay. My hair is a little lighter though. Yeah. I don't know, it's black glasses for some reason. It looks like a muttonless chicken. Uh, there's no option for mutton chops. So let's see. Oh, there you go. Oh. You're gonna have to get the last one. The last one? No, that doesn't look oh, okay. like it. Never mind. It looks nothing like it. <laughs> so you, they have beards, but no, uh, no mutton chops. I have to switch out Crocs for flip flops. There. I'm gonna make you a hat. And let's see. When we get home. Accessories. Look good. It's pretty adorable. Does that look enough like me? Enough. Enough. <laughs> I may let's have see. to. Make some. You're gonna make you're gonna make some customization yes. to it. <laughs> you need mutton chops and a hat. So we can you can draw some mutton chops on me. <laughs> add a hat later. Yes, continue. All right. Oh, my phone number in here. Yeah, yeah, right, guys. We add a buddy here. Does that look like Scarlet? All right. So I think we take this printed out receipt and take it over here to the Pop Factory counter. You can see him constructing them back there. There's me and Jen's. Heads. Oh, looks like he's packing us up there. Oh, let's see him. Let's see him, Jen. What do we got? Who's that? Is that you? Is that you? My little lightsaber and Funko Pop. Oh, there's Jen. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. You gotta. It does look like you. You got. You got your own Funko Pop, your own lightsaber, and there's your little kitty Cammy in there. And now here comes the sword of Jacob. Jen said she was gonna do some alterations on this to make it more like me, but it's got it's got my hair, it's got my glasses, I've got the camera there. And Scarlet! Does, I'm, and I got my little kitty Scarlet in there. Jen said she's gonna put some uh, put some mutton chops on. And you gotta find some, you gotta make your own little tiny crocs. You can carve them. <laughs> no, you can no, carve no, them no, out of foam. Maybe someone can value some crocs that may be out of my <laughs> Funko Crocs. <laughs> I love them. Let's see, let's see them together. Let's see, oh, there we are. Us in Funko form. Any little hearts above it. <laughs> I think we're entering the comic book area. See, there's like a movie theater here. It says, Welcome to Funko Headquarters. So we see Spider Man up there on the wall. These windows have been smashed in. And we can see the Green Goblin right there. Oh, you actually peek in the window there. 
you can see there is someone's apartment. It has some Funkos there on the shelf. And over here, we have the Hulk smashing out from the wall. He's a very angry look on his face because apparently you would not like him when he is angry. And there is the Hulk Buster suit, which I guess replicates the Hulk in Iron Man form. I guess they're getting ready to square off in the ultimate showdown. And over here, we have a newsstand. We actually have uh, Stan Lee here selling uh, comic books. Apparently selling comic books about M&M's there. That's kind of interesting. Mr. Uh, Mr. Stan Lee. Oh, down here we have uh, Luchador, Luchador plushies. That's interesting. And up here above Stan Lee is Captain America. My friend Kurt's favorite. There's a chimichanga truck right there. And above the chimichanga truck, we have uh, Mr. Deadpool. Is he eating? Is that a chimichanga right there that he's eating? Is chimichanga like his thing that he eats? Is that like his, like, Garfield eats lasagna, the Ninja Turtles eat pizza, Deadpool eats chimichangas? Some wrestling figures down there. They have a very artistic interpretation of the rock where he's covered in his own symbol. And then we have a classic showdown between John Cena and The Rock here, which comes in a wrestling ring. Down here, you see these uh, Funko sodas. These are not actually to drink. They have an actual figure inside them, like Samurai Jack or Ricochet Rabbit. I don't know who Ricochet Rabbit is. Not familiar with that character. Oh, there's Klaus from uh, the Umbrella Academy. Oh, number five from Umbrella Academy as well. There's Rocky Balboa, he's caught the chicken, I guess he chases chickens as part of his workout. We have Weedle on the Needle, I don't know what that is. And they, uh, oh, a Pan, Pan Am stewardess, an old, uh, old airline stewardess. Oh, here's a deep cut that I like. It's Daffy, the gremlin from Gremlins 2, the new batch. If anyone can tell you, I will go on and on about how much I love Gremlins too. Wait a minute, I didn't, you know, you don't. Are we, are we getting Daffy? Yeah, I'll buy you Daffy. See, he's in the pot of of uh, spaghetti there, pops out the noodles. Your whole uh, speech about Gremlins too. Oh yeah, it's a, it's one of the best movies ever made. So, I mean, I think you need him. You think I need? Yeah. I do have a few, I do, honestly, I do have a few Funko Gremlins already, so. See, it's part of, the part of the collection. I recently visited the Kool-Aid Museum in Nebraska, and look at that. It is a Kool-Aid packet, an anthropomorphic Kool-Aid packet. It's pretty amazing. What is this, Jacob? What's that? Why is he? Oh, he's die cast. What's a die cast? I'm not sure. A die it's heavy. It is really is heavy. Is it like a metal Funko? I guess so. I guess you, do you need to have that? It's Star Wars. I know, I'm debating. You're I'm debating? Sure. I need everything. <laughs> Oh, look at this, the Cheddar Goblin from Mandy. My uh, my friend Shane Morton actually designed the Cheddar Goblin for that movie. Works at a, a Silver silver Screams effects. I never knew the Play-Doh guy had a body. The Play-Doh guy? Oh yeah, that's the Play-Doh guy. And now he has a body, oh, and man. now he's a Funko. And he's got a little, little Play-Doh tool there in his hand. Oh my gosh, look at some of these. You can get a White Castle Slider Funko pop. <laughs> He's so happy. He's so slimy. Looks like he looks delicious. <laughs> and there's a lemon sour patch. I love sour patch Look kids. Officer Mac. Off Officer Mac. And then the little uh, scuba McNuggets. They actually had like Those not these. The toys, yeah, cool. these are, they had toys that were very similar to this in the old uh, McDonald's Happy Meals. And then slush puppy. These are like mascots that you forgot about <laughs> over here. We have oh, down here. Oh no, those are kids. But there's Fruit Loops. Down here. We, oh, this is the. The, uh, I remember when I was a kid, they had Count Chocula, they had Frankenberry. Booberry was really hard to find, and that was my favorite of the of the three cereals. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is, oh my gosh, it's an Epic Mickey t-shirt. This is my like probably my favorite video game of all time. Epic Mickey, where him and Oswald teamed up in the cartoon wasteland. I don't know if they have it. If they had it in my size, I'd wear it, but it's not look like there is a 3X in here. Jacob! What? I just... 
got this in the mail today. Okay, so you already ordered this. You didn't need to buy it here. Yeah. But, but it's I'm uh so excited. Look how cute. It's it's Belle and the Beast together. They're so cute. Are they getting ready to go on a little dance? They are. Walking down the staircase. This backpack is meant to look like the book at the beginning of Sleeping Beauty when they actually open a real physical book. What's that? All the dinosaurs from Jurassic World. I haven't seen the movie yet. There's a bird one. Are you, are you getting that? I don't know. Your baskets. Basket. Your baskets getting a little full. Look at the basket. What? Do we need to? Get, do we need to? Do we need to get a second basket? Possible. <laughs> Here is the Harry Potter section. We have these giant hog. Oh, is it hogs for Hogwarts? Here at the gate. And look at that. It's a Funko. Dementor right there. I guess let's head in to Hogwarts here. Over here we have Harry Potter and his friends. We look up in this window, I think that's Dumbledore peering down upon us. And then up here we have, oh, is that uh, Dobby? Dobby the house elf hanging out the window. And there he is, uh, this guy's no good. That is uh, Lord Dumbledore. Right there, you're not even supposed to say his name. I don't know what store this is. You can see a skeleton reaching out of the window. There's some actually some spooky things here. I can see a shrunken head in the window there. And there's a couple Satan skulls. Oh yeah, there's a super spooky skeleton in there. Oh, over here we have uh, Hagrid. He's a very large Funko, because he's uh, he is a giant. I think he's a half giant, actually. Found your buddy. Oh yeah, we have the, the Funko postcard there with Sasquatch on it. If I actually had that Sasquatch, I'd buy it. That's so cool. Stop! All right, so I guess this has just become a haul video. So much stuff. We have this big, enormous bag here. Got some postcards. Yeah, some postcards. There's some pretty cool postcards there. I love these little guys. Like I seriously may buy yeah, them. What do they call the the, the beat, Wetmore? The Wetmore what monsters or? It just says Wetmore Forest. The Forest of Wetmore. They have like they're a bit they're unique characters. And then they had Sasquatch, but you couldn't buy the Sasquatch Funko. Which it's on eBay. It's on eBay. It's expensive. Um, I looked for it for you before. Oh, did you? It must not be the cheapest since I didn't purchase it. We got the uh, the t-shirts, the Treehouse of Horror. We each got one, so we, each we got can one, so we can match. Twin, we're twinning. I got a little soda, soda with Frankenstein in it, and a soda Captain America as a gift. And you got one of these little Batman. What does he say? Can you pop it up. Oh, okay. He says. Does he say I can't read it? I don't know, it's away from me. It says, shine like the bat shine signal. Shine like the bat signal. So it goes down and then. But I love his little eyes. What do his eyes do? They're black. Oh, with little bat signals. Eyes. Oh, they have little, <laughs> little bat signals on his eyes. All right, and then you got your dinosaur. Yes. There was a three pack, and I super only wanted the one because I already have a bunch of them. I haven't seen the, I haven't and, seen uh, the movie yet, but Jen went and Yeah, saw I, I love this guy. He's my favorite in there. And we got, is it Sylvie? Blacklight Sylvie. Blacklight Sylvie. You know, Jen likes the black. You got a couple other blacklight ones Yeah, home. I have 11 and some Marvel guys. Is this just a big mug? It says Funko I on. love big mugs. Big mugs. What do you drink yeah. out of the big mug? Tea, your favorite. Tea. I don't drink hot beverages, but I guess you could put a drink cold. like soda in there. And then I don't know why I said soda. Pop. You got Mecha, Go Mecha Godzilla. His eyes are red. Red like. Your shirt. I like my shirt. <laughs> so yeah, Jen loves the King Kong Godzilla. You sure you already have the King Kong Godzilla. Yeah. So. He's also very heavy. And then you did. Oh, this is one of the beasts of Wetmore Forest. Jen. Uh, Butterhorn. Uh, Butterhorn. He's my favorite. Like That's little, so curious. It's like a little ram monster. Look at this pile accumulating here. And look, here, Jen, we're just gonna. Keep... Yeah, Jen got this for me as a gift yeah, because I love Gremlins too so much. It's Daffy. After your tooth surgery, when you were all goofy. Yeah, I did. After I had my tooth surgery, I did an update on my health, and for some reason, I managed to spend 
half the video talking about Gremlins 2. So, since I'm mushy, like, that was when we first started talking. Yeah. And so, like, I always think of... Oh. Yeah. But, so, yeah. so it was, was it was it amazing, Jen? I know you're it really was so amazing. It. You really love the Chifunko store. I did. You can add these to your collection. I, this is the start of my collection. The start of your collection. <laughs> this is... What is a Funko? What's a Funko? Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Of course, travel all around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. And Funkos! And occasionally we stop and film some Funkos. <laughs> and uh, if you'd like to support this channel, consider donating to Patreon. So we can buy some Funkos! I promise I won't spend all the Patreon money on Funkos. <laughs> $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Like a Funko! <laughs> I don't know, I'm not going to be sending those postcards with Jen's. But uh, all that helps keep this train on the track. It's a boat in the water and it's dirigible. With Funkos! In the air. It's okay, Jen. Calm down. I'm excited. This one's in... The Funko Bag! Bag of Funkos. <laughs>